In my last review, I looked at the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro True Wireless Earphones and I really like them, but I'm still quite new to True Wireless Earphones and I want to see what else is out there. So when One More asked if I wanted to check out their stuff, I said yes please. One More are probably most well known for their triple driver headphones and earphones, and they were also previously getting good reviews for their stylish True Wireless earphones. Stylish, that's the name of the earphones, not a description of their looks. The stylish never really interested me due to their bulky design, as I don't tend to get on with bigger earphones, but these are the One More Comfo Buds Pro, a stem style earphone with a compact and comfortable shape, which is why I was immediately interested. They've also got that True Wireless convenience with active noise cancellation for less than a hundred pounds. So are they any good? Well, that's a great question and we're going to get into that right now. Hey guys, this is Noel and this is Wheezy Tech and on this channel I take a look at a thing and let you know what I think. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. That also helps out. In the interest of full disclosure, the Comfo Buds Pro were sent to me by One More for the purposes of this review, and if you've seen any of my videos up until now, you should know that whether I get sent a review sample or I purchase something myself, I'm always going to give you my honest take. One More provided no compensation, nor did they have any input on this review. They're going to be seeing this for the first time, the same as you guys. Also, as usual, I'm going to be putting timestamps in the description if you want to skip to any specific section. And with all of that said, let's just get on with it. So a brief overview of the specs, they feature Bluetooth 5 with SBC and AAC codecs, a single 13.4mm titanium composite dynamic driver, six microphones with noise cancellation for clear phone calls, adjustable active noise cancellation and ambient sound modes, and a single earbud mode so you can listen to either one of them at a time. And they also feature IPX4 ingress protection, which means you should be covered for light rain and sweat. The battery life of the Comfo Buds Pro is really excellent for the price and actually beats out the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. Obviously this is going to vary depending on the volume but with the noise cancelling enabled you can expect up to 6 hours and up to 8 hours with the noise cancelling disabled. You're also getting a further 2.5 charges in the case for a total of up to 28 hours. This is going to get you through a whole day without issue and I was getting around 6 hours with ANC on and 7.5 and with it off and I never once worried about the battery, especially as a 15 minute charge in the case is going to give you up to two hours of playback. Speaking of the battery case, at first I found it a little bit difficult getting the earphones out of the case, which made me feel like I had sausage fingers. Then I noticed that you need to press down on the stem and they sort of pop up so that you can grab them. The case itself is quite compact and lightweight with a sort of an oval shape. It's quite long, but it is low and slim, so ends up being quite a compact package. There is a companion app called One More Music that can be used with a Comfo Buds Pro, although I've only tested this with Android as that's the only phone that I own. The app is pretty bare bones with no EQ features, but it does allow some customization to the controls and the active noise cancellation modes and also allows you to enable or disable the smart playback mode. That's the mode that allows the earphones to automatically play or pause media when you remove the earphones from your ears. That's a pretty cool feature that would allow you to take them out, have a quick conversation, and then carry on where you left off automatically. In terms of the controls, they have the now standard touch controls. The app also allows some customization to those controls. You have the option of controlling the ANC modes, the usual call handling and media control modes, and smart assistant activation that works with the likes of Google or Amazon's assistant who should not be named. Controls seem to work well enough with no mishaps or anything like that. The fit of the Comfo Buds Pro is great for people like me who don't tend to get on with most earphones, especially true wireless that tend to have that bulky shape. The Comfo Buds Pro have a small and sleek shape with a shallow insertion depth. They come with four different pairs of tips in the usual small, medium and large sizes and I find them to be very comfortable, although I do find the Liberty Air 2 Pro to be more comfortable. That is also helped by the fact that the Air 2 Pro come with nine different pairs of tips, so there's a little bit more room to find a good fit out of the box without having to buy any aftermarket tips. With that said, the Comfo Buds Pro definitely live up to their name and I find them excellently comfortable. There are four different noise cancelling or ambient sound modes available with the Comfo Buds Pro. You have the main mode, which is called Strong, this is going to give you the full effect of the noise cancellation. This is really rather impressive and cuts out a surprising amount of noise for such a small and shallow insert in earphone. This is going to be your go-to mode for public transport, for aircraft travel, and for aircon noise. Next up you have the mild mode which dulls noise while still allowing some noise through. This is going to be ideal mode for using when you're out and about. That's going to leave you with more awareness of your surroundings. 
Pass-through mode is a full transparency mode which pipes in all the noise of your surroundings. That's ideal for when you want full awareness, but you don't want to take the earphones out of your ears. And the last mode is a wind noise reduction mode, which as the name suggests, targets specifically wind noise frequencies, but allows pretty much everything else through. I tested this by blowing a fan into my face and it works really well. Wind noise is quite noticeable in all the other modes, including the strong ANC mode, but the wind noise reduction mode cuts this out completely. This could be really useful for when running or cycling, although obviously use earphones responsibly when you're exercising and especially using the roads. Make sure you stay safe out there, people. The ANC performance itself is really rather good, perhaps even better than the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro, although on the latter, you do have much more control over the ANC and ambient modes within the app. ANC also doesn't seem to negatively affect the sound with the Comfort Buds Pro, which was my main complaint with the Air 2 Pro. If anything, the ANC on the Comfort Buds Pro actually improves the bass performance, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the sound section. The One More Comfort Buds Pro features six microphones for clear calls with noise cancellation, and I'm going to drop in an audio sample of the core quality now. I'm also going to drop in a sample of the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro as a point of comparison. So you're now listening to the One More Comfort Buds Pro, and uh, this is how they sound with them being connected via Bluetooth to my PC right behind me. Uh, this is being recorded straight into my PC into Adobe Audition. There's no noise going on in this room. This is a quiet room, and this is how they would sound uh, in, in a quiet room. Right, you're now listening to the sound called Liberty Air 2 Pro connected directly to my PC via Bluetooth, and that's being recorded into Adobe Audition. This is in a quiet room, and this is how it sounds. Right, you're now listening to the One More Comfo Buds Pro with some simulated crowd noise going on in the background. It feels like I'm at a stadium for a, yeah, for a, a, a football game or something. Um, this is how the One More Comfo Buds Pro sound uh, with some stadium noise in the background. Right, you're now hearing the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro connected uh, directly to my PC via Bluetooth. There is some simulated crowd noise going on in the background playing out of my speakers there. And uh, it's, it's pretty loud. It sounds like I'm at a concert. And um, this, this is how it sounds. Now let's talk about Bluetooth latency. And I actually found it a little bit more noticeable than on the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro when watching YouTube on my Android phone. Now that was using the AAC codec, however, it was a little bit better with the SBC codec on my phone. Your experience may vary as Bluetooth latency is very device dependent, and there's always gonna be a little bit of latency with Bluetooth, there's no getting around that. So there's nothing unusual about this. And it should be fine for most people. But as there is no low latency mode or a specific gaming mode, those who do lots of gaming with their portable devices will probably find this a little bit more noticeable. So now let's talk about the sound. And in terms of the tuning, the Comfo Buds Pro are actually really excellent. Certainly one of the better out of the box tunings I've heard on any earphone, at least with their true wireless earphones. And also they've got a decent amount of sound staging, which is quite welcome. I would classify the One More Comfo Buds Pro as neutral in terms of frequency response. This is a stark contrast with the Liberty Air 2 Pro with its much more lively and bassy V-shaped sound signature. Starting out with the bass and the Comfort Buds Pro definitely have a more linear and somewhat lean bass response, even when compared with other more neutral earphones like the 10 Hi-Fi T4. Now this is going to give you a very clean and neutral bass presentation with little to no bleed into the mid-range, a fairly decent sub-bass extension, but somewhat lacking in punchiness and dynamics. However, I did find quite a bit of difference in the bass between having the ANC on versus having the ANC off. Now with the ANC enabled, the bass response actually improved somewhat, to my taste at least. With the ANC on, the Comfo Buds Pro seemed to gain a little bit of that bass volume and extension that they were otherwise lacking and putting them much closer to my personal preference. With the ANC on, that bass has a warmth and a fullness that really balances out the tuning and pulls the whole thing together for a much more cohesive sound. It feels like the Comfo Buds Pro have been designed to work perfectly with the ANC on and actually sounds a little bit lean in comparison when the ANC is off. Although that is entirely to my taste and you might feel differently about this. But I will say that these provide a good, deep bass response that is not overpowering and as a result works for just about any genre you can throw at it. I will say that if you are looking for a big bass earphone, you're not going to get that with the Comfo Buds Pro. You would be much 
better accommodated by the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. But with the Comfo Buds Pro, I think it's the mid-range where they shine, giving you a more mid-forward presentation than a lot of earphones that tend to be quite recessed in this area. You've got a good bit of low-end warmth and a forwardness in the upper mids that never reaches the point of shoutiness, but adds an excellent level of vocal clarity. And this is going to be absolutely ideal for vocals and for instruments, giving you a good crunch to guitars and bringing those vocals forwards and having this really smooth sound. Above and into the treble, the Comfo Buds Pro have a somewhat restrained treble. You don't quite have as much sparkle and definition and detail in the treble, with them seemingly sounding a little bit rolled off in the upper treble and losing out on some of those air frequencies. However, they certainly don't sound dark or veiled or anything like that. So whilst the Comfo Buds Pro perhaps sound a little bit lacking in detail versus um, equivalently priced wired IEMs, that's probably not that much of a surprise. And this is a very inoffensive tuning with no treble harshness that can be quite fatiguing on other more shouty earphones. And in the context of them being a casual, portable, wireless earphone, this is entirely acceptable. Overall, I find the One More Comfo Buds Pro to have one of the best out-of-the-box tunings of any earphone I've tried, uh, at least the best true wireless earphone tunings that I've tried. And it's a tuning that would suit the audio enthusiast or the audiophile crowd much more than the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. I've mentioned the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro a lot in this review because they are my current favourite and benchmark true wireless earphone. So let's do a quick comparison of these two earphones now. Comfort I'm giving to the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. This is of course entirely subjective, but I find that they fit my ears that little bit better. And they also come with many more tips in the box so that they are more likely to fit more people out of the box. In terms of battery, there isn't much between them, but the Comfort Buds Pro do beat the Liberty Air 2 Pro, especially by them having a few more recharges in the case. For noise cancellation and ambient modes, it's a tough one because I find the Comfo Buds Pro actually edge out the Liberty Air 2 Pro in terms of absolute noise reduction, and I do really like the wind noise reduction option. But the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro has a lot more customization options available in the Soundcore app, which does allow you to dial in the noise cancelling much more. Ultimately, I'm going to say it's a tie, because if you want to just turn on the ANC and forget about it, the one more have you covered. If you'd like to be able to customize how the ANC behaves, then the Soundcore will be more your thing. In terms of call quality, I already did sound examples, so you can go back, listen to those, and you can decide which one you prefer. For app and controls, this one's easy. The sound call definitely have the one more beat in terms of app support. You've got many more options to customize the Liberty Air 2 Pro to taste in the sound call app, whereas the one more app is a bit bare bones. I would really prefer to see more features in the one more app, especially an EQ feature, Although, who knows, maybe this is something that one more can add to the app in the future. And in terms of sound, this is not a case of one being better than the other, as they're clearly aimed at different audiences. And this is going to be entirely subjective. If you want a lively and bassy earphone, then get the Liberty Air 2 Pro. If you want a more neutral earphone, then get the One More Comfo Buds Pro. Both sound pretty great, but they've got two completely different tunings. And you're never really going to get that One More Comfo Buds Pro neutral tuning out of the sound called Liberty Air 2 Pro. But with that said, I think that the One More's more neutral tuning actually lends itself uh, much better to whatever genre you can throw at it. So I really think that the One More are going to suit many more people out of the box. That is, of course, unless you really are all about that bass. Next up, let's talk about value, which leads me on to that value and conclusion section of this review. The One More Comfo Buds Pro RRP for around £95 in the UK, which is an excellent price, and that's a decent amount less than the sound called Liberty Air 2 Pro, which RRPs for around £130. To my mind, it's really a bit of a no-brainer. Just get the One More Comfo Buds Pro. Sure, the Soundcore app has a lot more customization options, but is that worth the around £35 extra or more? Well, I think that's up to you. I'm going to say probably not. It is possible that one more will update the app over time to add more features, but you should never really rely on that when you buy something today. Always buy the device for what it is not what it might become. But I think ultimately the decision is really going to come down to the type of sound signature that you are looking for. Do you want that lively and bassy sound? If so, get the Liberty Air 2 Pro. Do you want a more neutral sound? Then get the Comfo Buds Pro. And I think that at the sub £100 selling price, 
it really is a no-brainer. The, the One More Comfort Buds Pro have great ANC, they have decent battery, excellent comfort, and great sound. And frankly, from me, they come highly recommended. Right, that's going to be it from me for this review. I hope you found this useful, interesting, or at the very least entertaining. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and all of that business. And thank you so much to One More for sending these over for me to review. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Have a good one.